6 p.m. And I will catch a unique saga. That's the sort of take we like. Not to everything. A quarter of a second. Less than that. And he's tugging. He's tugging well. Tugging very well. Wobbling a bit in the boat here, I'm not happy about that. Getting a little bit more central. Ooh, it's running again. Um, okay, that's the first fish I've had. I'll do that to me. The trophy wall just taunts me. We're on a six pound line, so yeah, but I can probably afford an extra drag stop. I just don't want to risk it with this fish on the line. It's the first time I've really needed to worry about it. This one's really run, and oddly enough, I don't want to test and lose him. Oh, yeah. Landed. Uh, that's what we were after. I'm not happy with him. They're not the prettiest of fish. I like the sail. He's got holes in his. Uh, maybe. I don't know, it was the raindrops on my camera. So we'll, we'll keep him. And I think it's the first time I've caught a unique saga in daylight hours. So I decided it's a cloudy day, so I'd go for the red spoon. Um, and it, it's done the trick. So I'm obviously in my boat, no point trying to show you where I am there. The red spoon, it's just a six pound line on a seven pound reel on a, a four to nine pound rod. So it's box the only reason I'm using this rod at all is um so I could use the three quarter ounce lures. Uh, that's only a half ounce red tiger. And then if I hit M um just add a mark for that fish. So you can see where I'm I'm casting. Um positioning for this is a bit tricky. Because what you need is you want to be able to see that tree. If you look at my rod tip from behind these trees. But you also want a little bit of daylight between that bush on the rock and that tree in the background. So you've got a big tree dip, a slightly smaller tree and then another dip. And if you do that then what you do is you, you just cast out to 
I've actually been casting more there than here, but clearly that was going wrong. And then you cast out over here. And there are two spots you can pick up the unique Sauger. One is, it depends exactly on how far away you are, um, but for me one is about 108 feet away. And then the other one, I think, is where I caught that last fish. It's a little bit closer in. But the, the idea is just to draw the fish along that line. And then you can see I'm just doing a, a speed free stop and go. Trying to let the bait land and drop on the bottom. The lure. And then if I get down to 40 feet without anything, I just reel in. <laughs> 